In this video, we'll be going over the Quick Start Guide installed with SCADA Data Gateway 5.0. You can find this guide by going to Help. After doing that, you'll find the steps that we'll be following today. So let's take a look at what we're going to set up today. We're going to set up a Windows machine with Test Harness with a DNP3 outstation. That Windows machine will also have a UA Expert OPC UA client. On our Linux machine, we'll have SDG, which is we'll be hosting a DMP3 master, and an OPC UA server. The outstation's data will then be sent over to the master, the master will then map to the UA server, and the client will receive data from that UA server. That way you can see a full loop through the SCADA data gateway. We'll also be using a web client on the Windows machine to interact with all of the services running on the Linux machine. The first few steps in this is just installing the applications. So you'll already have SCADA Data Gateway installed on your Linux machine, and you'll need to go ahead and install Test Harness on your Windows machine and an OPC UA client on the same machine as Test Harness. We're using UA Expert for this video, but you can use anything you're familiar with. To install Test Harness, just click the download link or go to our website, log in with your account, and you can download an eval of Test Harness. The same can be done for the OPC UA client. You just go to their website, which looks like this, log in, and download UA Expert 151. So now you have all of your applications installed. Now we'd like to create the DNP outstation inside of Test Harness. To do that, go to the tickle window and type open DNP slave. That'll create a device here with many data points. To see these data points, go to open data window. From here, you just open the test honors, click the device, and here are the data points. So now that we have our DNP3 outstation set up in test harness, let's create the master in our SCADA data gateway. To do this, right click on the node, root node to add TCP channel master, select the protocol, which would be MDNP, and then put in the IP address from the machine that you have test harness running on. For me, that's 10.1.1.106. And then we'll give it a name. I'm going to name it DMP3 master. Hit OK. The second configuration window is if you need to change some specifics in the DMP3. Since we use the default in test harness, we don't need to change any of this. And this will be the initial data type that we're going to add. So far we'll have binary inputs, but I'm going to add everything else as well. So you go to your DNP master, click the drop down arrow, and then you can right click on L4 and do auto create tags. That will create every data type that the DNP master sees in the DNP outstation. But if you want to add a specific one, you could always right click and do add data type and select say analog inputs. From here, you can open up L4 and see all of our data attributes inside. And you'll also see that they are automatically mapped to our previously created or automatically created OPC UA server. The last thing we need to do is connect our OPC UA client. We're using UA Expert to do this. You could click Add New Server. But since I already have one set up, I'll show you the configuration for that. So I'll right click and do properties. What I'm using is the endpoint URL, which essentially just has the IP address of where Gateway is installed in it. So now I can right click on this, say connect, and you'll see it pop up down here. From here I can open the Gateway, our DNP3 master, and then L4. And this will show you all of the different data points. So I can open up the binaries and drag one over. Now when I go back to our test harness and change that value, we'll eventually see that map through to our OPC UA client. Thanks for watching.